Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale set in the heart of Frostburg. Picture this, a quaint town square where the air is thick with the scent of pine and the promise of snow. The townsfolk gather, their faces illuminated by the soft glow of lanterns. It's a scene straight out of a storybook, with Liam standing at the forefront, his breath visible in the frigid air. His bright blue eyes hold a determined glint, ready to face whatever comes next. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. The whispers of the snowman, once haunting, now feel like a gentle breeze, urging the community to confront the shadows that have long lingered in their hearts. Buckle up, because this chapter is going to be a roller coaster of emotions and revelations. Now, this reminds me of a scene where art becomes a bridge between fear and hope. Maya, clutching her sketchbook, steps forward. Her long dark hair swirls around her like a dark cloud, adding to the mystique of the moment. The sketches she has created over the past few days are not just images of the snowman. They are windows into the fears and hopes of the townsfolk. Each stroke of her pencil captures the beauty hidden within the fear, transforming the snowman from a figure of dread into a symbol of unity. It's a powerful moment as the townsfolk murmur among themselves, realizing the depth of their shared experiences. Maya's art speaks volumes, and it's clear that the snowman is more than just a figure made of snow. It's a reflection of their collective journey. Sarah, with her curly hair bouncing as she moves, stands beside Liam. Her bright brown eyes scan the crowd, taking in the scene before her. The skepticism that once clouded her judgment begins to dissipate, replaced by a burgeoning belief in the power of their shared experiences. She feels the weight of the moment, the collective breath of the town held in anticipation. It's a pivotal moment as Liam clears his throat, the sound cutting through the murmurs like a knife through the thick winter air. We need to share our stories, he urges, his voice steady and strong. The snowman is not just a figure made of snow. He is a reflection of us, our fears, our regrets. But together, we can transform that fear into something beautiful. The stage is set for a transformation, and the townsfolk are ready to step forward, their voices trembling yet resolute. One by one, the townsfolk begin to step forward, their voices trembling yet resolute. Old man Harris, with his weathered hands and deep-set eyes, speaks of his childhood fears of the dark woods, of the stories that have been passed down through generations. A young mother shares her anxiety about raising her children in a world filled with uncertainty. Each story weaves a tapestry of vulnerability, binding the community closer together. As the last story is told, the whispers of the snowman shift, no longer echoing fears but resonating with warmth and understanding. The snowman, once a figure of isolation, now stands as a testament to their collective strength. The townsfolk, emboldened by their shared experiences, begin to sing softly, their voices rising into the night, a melody of hope that dances through the air. It's a moment of renewal, a promise of new beginnings for Frostburg.